Did you know that 95% of the universe is completely unknown to us? We call it dark matter and dark energy, but the truth is we have no idea what it is. What if a piece of that mystery just paid us a visit? Right now, millions of miles from Earth, something unexplainable has happened. A silent traveler from the edge of the galaxy, known as 3i divided by Atlas, has done something that has left scientists speechless. It's not just behaving strangely, it's defying every known law of physics. What we're witnessing might be the most mysterious cosmic event of our generation. Now, let's talk about 3i divided by Atlas. This is an interstellar object. That means it didn't come from our solar system. It came from somewhere far beyond, perhaps another star, perhaps another world. When it was first discovered, astronomers thought it was just another rock, you know, maybe a comet or an asteroid just passing through. But that illusion didn't last long because the more scientists looked, the less sense it made. Its trajectory defied gravity. Its spin didn't match its shape. Its light didn't fade as expected. Instead, it flickered like a pulse. And then, in what's been called one of the strangest astronomical events of the decade, 3i divided by Atlas began to accelerate. Not from a gravitational pull, but as if something inside it was propelling it forward. This shouldn't be possible. According to physics, Non-powered objects in space follow predictable paths. They don't suddenly change direction or speed without an external force. Yet 3i divided by Atlas broke that rule. It began behaving like it knew where it wanted to go. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the European Space Agency, even Harvard's astrophysics team, all of them observed the same anomaly and none of them could explain it. Harvard astronomer, Dr. Elena Barlow, said something that chilled the scientific community. She said, 3i divided by Atlas doesn't move like an object. It moves like a decision. That single line sent waves through every observatory around the world. Because if something can make a decision, it means it can think or be guided. At first, researchers tried to calm public speculation. They said it could be outgassing jets of gas, pushing the object as ice evaporated from its surface. But then the problem deepened. Spectral analysis showed almost no ice at all. The material wasn't behaving like a comet or an asteroid. In fact, it wasn't behaving like anything we've ever studied. It reflected light unevenly, absorbed radio waves, and emitted faint electromagnetic pulses. The frequencies were too regular to be random almost like code. One NASA analyst described the data stream this way. It's as if someone is tapping on the universe's shoulder, waiting for us to notice. And that's exactly what's happening now. Scientists are noticing, but what they see doesn't fit any theory of natural physics. Think about what code actually means in this context. Natural phenomena are noisy. They are chaotic. A pulsar flashes with incredible regularity, yes, but its signal is a brute force repetition. These pulses from three I divided by Atlas were complex. They had structure. This is the difference between a drum beating 111 and a drum beating in Morse code. One is physics, the other is information. The educational value here is staggering. It forces us to ask if we are sophisticated enough to even recognize a message that isn't sent via radio waves. For weeks, telescopes around the world captured 3i divided by Atlas glowing faintly green, then blue, then a deep golden hue. The colors pulsed in rhythm. But when computer models were applied, the pattern didn't match chemical emissions. It matched timing sequences, the kind you'd see in data packets or controlled energy bursts. Some in the scientific community now quietly whisper the possibility that sounds like science fiction. What if 3i divided by Atlas isn't a comet at all? What if it's a craft? Let's step back and think about this carefully. The odds of a natural rock from another star system entering ours are already astronomically small. The odds of it behaving in ways that mimic propulsion, coded light patterns and self-regulation of spin are even smaller. And yet, here it is. When astronomers traced its origin, they found something even more astonishing. The trajectory suggests it came from the direction of Lyra, a region of space that contains several potentially habitable exoplanets. It didn't just drift into our solar system. 
It aimed for it. But then came the event that changed everything. About a week ago, the James Webb Space Telescope detected a brief but powerful burst of infrared radiation near 3I divided by Atlas. It lasted just six seconds. Six seconds of raw, focused energy, and then silence. The object stopped emitting light altogether. It went dark. The moment it did, multiple telescopes lost contact simultaneously. NASA's Deep Space Network recorded a faint echo, a low continuous hum in the radio spectrum before it vanished completely. No one knows if the signal was intentional or if it was the last whisper of something shutting down. To understand why this matters, we need to remember how unprecedented this is. Space doesn't simply erase an object. When comets break apart, they leave debris. When asteroids vanish, they scatter fragments. But 3i divided by Atlas left nothing. It's as though it folded itself out of existence. Harvard's theoretical physicist, Dr. Michael Kessler, said it best. It's like watching the laws of motion pause to take a breath. And that's exactly why scientists are afraid. Because if one object can break those laws, what else can? Think of the implications. If 3i divided by Atlas is artificial, then it's a message in motion, a time capsule, maybe even a piece of technology from a civilization millions of years older than ours. If it's natural, then it's evidence that the universe itself can produce matter that bends our rules of physics. In either case, it rewrites what we know about reality. Let's analyze both paths because both are equally terrifying and valuable. If it's artificial, it's not just a craft. It's a, it's a statement. It implies a technological capability far beyond our own, not just propulsion, but potential mastery over dimensional space, given how it vanished. It would mean our tiny bubble of human technology is just a speck in a vast intelligent ocean. But if it's natural, that might be even more profound. It would mean there are states of matter, forces of nature that we haven't even dreamed of. It would prove that our laws of physics are just local suggestions and the universe is infinitely more complex and magical than our equations currently allow. But beyond the data and equations, there's something deeply emotional about this discovery. I often think of how far we've come as a species. Many of you remember the thrill of 1969, the moon landing, the static-filled voices from Apollo, the way humanity held its breath when Armstrong took that first step. That was our beginning, but now it feels as though the universe is taking the next step toward us. 3i divided by Atlas might be the first object to tell us in its silence and strangeness that we are not alone. Inside NASA, sources suggest the agency is running advanced simulations. They're testing what could happen if 3i divided by Atlas reappears or if the hum returns. The classified nature of these models has sparked rumors that the signal might have contained encoded geometry, mathematical patterns that translate into shapes, even structures. One insider described it as a message written in physics. What could that mean? Perhaps a signature, perhaps a warning, or perhaps just a greeting written in the only language the cosmos knows, energy and pattern. When I think about it, I imagine a civilization so old, so advanced, that it no longer uses words or radio waves. Instead, it speaks through the laws of nature itself. And if 3i divided by Atlas truly defies those laws, maybe that's the point. Maybe it's showing us that our understanding of physics is still young, still local. Like children trying to read the sky without knowing the alphabet of the stars. Imagine the wonder and the humility of realizing that the universe might not just contain mysteries, but intentions. And here's where it becomes even more profound. Some astronomers have noted that 3i divided by Atlas's acceleration curve mirrored something familiar. The early propulsion tests for light sails devices that use photons, or light itself, to travel vast distances. Could 3i divided by Atlas be one of these? A solar sail drifting across eternity, guided by the pressure of starlight and time? If so, that means it's ancient, possibly older than humanity. It might have been launched when Earth was still covered in oceans of primordial life. And yet, here it is, visiting us, 
Some theorists believe these objects could be part of a galactic network. This isn't an invasion, but perhaps a census. Probes silently drifting, gathering data, and transmitting it across star systems. Not invasions, not contact, just observation. Cosmic archaeology. This theory suggests a civilization that plays the long game. They don't need to conquer, they just need to know. They study the emergence of life and intelligence over millennia, the way we study a growing forest. When you think about it that way, the darkness of 3i divided by Atlas feels less like an ending and more like a pause. Maybe it didn't disappear. Maybe it completed its mission. Perhaps it came to measure how far we've come to see if our species had learned to listen. And maybe it found what it was looking for. That's the part that gives me chills. Because every time humanity reaches a new threshold, splitting the atom, landing on the moon, creating artificial intelligence, the universe seems to whisper back like a teacher checking in on a student. What if 3i divided by Atlas is the latest whisper? NASA won't say, Harvard won't say, but telescopes around the world are still aimed at the last known coordinates, waiting for even a flicker of light to return. Some scientists say it might reappear when it crosses back into sunlight. Others think it's gone forever. But there's a growing sense among astronomers, almost a superstition, that 3i divided by Atlas didn't leave by accident. It chose to. And that leads to one haunting thought. If it can choose when to vanish, it can also choose when to return. As I look at the night sky, I can't help but wonder if right now, somewhere beyond Neptune, Something is still watching us, silent, waiting, patient. So here's the lesson for us right here on Earth. The story of three I divided by Atlas teaches us that the greatest discoveries aren't always loud announcements. Sometimes they are silent anomalies. It teaches us that knowing is temporary and wondering is permanent. The universe doesn't owe us answers, but it constantly gives us better questions. It reminds us that our certainty, our laws, might just be the arrogance of a species that has only looked at the cosmos through a tiny keyhole. The real value is in our humility. What do you think? Do you believe three I divided by Atlas was a natural phenomenon that rewrites our physics books? Or was it a piece of ancient technology, a silent observer? Let me know your theories in the comments below. I read as many as I can. And your ideas are a huge part of this conversation. And if you want to keep exploring these massive, incredible mysteries with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because the truth is, physics isn't broken. It's just evolving. And maybe, just maybe, 3i divided by Atlas was sent to remind us that the universe doesn't follow our laws. We follow its. And someday soon, when the silence breaks again, humanity might finally learn what the cosmos has been trying to tell us since the beginning, that we are part of something far greater. And the story of the stars has only just begun.